All right, guys. So, um, you're trying to access calcaneal fractures, all right? You're trying to access calcaneal fractures. Uh, there's two considerations, or um, yeah, they call them angles, though. All right. So let me think. I mean, it's very much more nice, right? Okay. So there are two angles that I actually put in considerations, okay, in trying to access calcaneal fractures. This is known as the Bollas angle and the Giesens angle, all right? Bollas angle, Giesens angle. So this is a picture showing the Bollas angle and the Giesens angle, all right? So just quickly talk about what they mean. All right, so for the bolus angle, we say that it's also known as what? The calcaneal angle, all right? Like you say, it is measured, okay? This one is from up, down, okay? Just trying to take up, like, take the angle. So it's a measurement which is used to what? Access calcaneal fractures on a lateral foot radiograph, okay? So it is formed by two lines. The first line is from what? The highest point of the anterior surface of the calcaneus to the highest point of the posterior or articular facet. All right. Second line is on the highest point of the posterior articular or facet to the highest point of the calcaneal tuberosity. So I think this should be the second line. This should be the first line that they are talking about. Okay. So for its normal value, you say that it's typically between what, 25 degrees to 40 degrees. So once you're having a reduced bolus angle that is less than 20 degrees, so, uh, degrees yeah, you know that there's what a calcaneal fracture there, right? This is bolus angle. Okay. Then let's look at the Giesens angle. We say that the Giesens angle is also known as what? Critical angle of Giesens. It's another measurement which is used to evaluate calcaneal fractures, right? So it's formed by the first line is along the lateral border of the posterior facet. All right. Second bone uh, is extending along what? The beak of the calcaneus. Okay, just like this, All right? So, oh, uh, sorry. I think I had like a last point at that Giesens angle before we close. Now, we say for the Giesens angle, the normal value is between 120 and 145. Then once you are having an increment, increase in the Giesens angle, which is greater than 130 degrees, it actually suggests that it's a fracture, okay, of the posterior subtalar joint, okay. So that's it for these two angles using what? evaluating or accessing calcaneal fractures.